Dear viewers, when a patient is informed about a cancer diagnosis, it is a devastating and challenging moment. Therefore, some viewers, especially those whose loved ones are currently battling such diseases, may find this information distressing. It is important to note that these details are presented based on extensive medical research, facts, years of treatments, and the eventual outcomes or results. What is anaplastic astrocytoma? Anaplastic astrocytoma is a type of primary brain tumor that arises from astrocytes, a type of glial cell in the central nervous system. These tumors are classified as grade 3 gliomas by the World Health Organization, indicating a higher level of malignancy than low-grade astrocytomas, but less aggressive than glioblastomas. Symptoms. Symptoms of anaplastic astrocytoma can vary depending on the location and size of the tumor. Common symptoms include headaches, persistent and often severe, seizures, new onset seizures may occur, neurological deficits, weakness, numbness or changes in coordination, cognitive changes, memory loss, difficulty concentrating and personality changes, Diagnosis. Diagnosing anaplastic astrocytoma involves a combination of imaging studies such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, computed tomography, CT scans, biopsy to examine the tumor tissue and determine its grade. Treatment options. Surgery. The primary goal is to remove as much of the tumor as safely possible. Complete removal may not be achievable due to the infiltrative nature of the tumor. Radiation therapy. After surgery, radiation therapy is typically recommended to target any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy may be used in conjunction with radiation therapy. Commonly used drugs include temozolomide, TMZ and other agents. Prognosis and survival rates. The prognosis for anaplastic astrocytoma is generally guarded, with a median survival ranging from several years to longer. However, individual cases can vary significantly. Factors influencing prognosis include the age and overall health of the patient, the extent of surgical resection, response to treatment and molecular characteristics of the tumor. Challenges and considerations Anaplastic astrocytomas tend to be more aggressive than low-grade astrocytomas, but less so than glioblastomas. These tumors may recur despite aggressive treatment. Ongoing research is focused on identifying molecular markers that may guide treatment decisions and predict outcomes. Clinical trials. Participation in clinical trials may provide access to experimental treatments and contribute to the advancement of knowledge about anaplastic astrocytomas. Regular follow-up with a healthcare team, including neurosurgeons, oncologists and other specialists, is essential for monitoring the response to treatment and managing potential side effects. Additionally, staying informed about new developments in the field and considering participation in clinical trials can be important aspects of managing anaplastic astrocytoma. As with any medical condition, individual cases can vary and treatment plans should be tailored to the specific needs of each patient. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or heard in this content. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately.